Hi, I'm Fabian and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about my top three tips for recording fingerstyle guitar with one microphone. Now, I'm not a producer or anything like that, but I'm gonna be talking about my specific point of view as a player rather than a producer. All right, so let's get into it. Things to consider before even setting up your mic. Your guitar is by far the most important thing that needs to sound good. If your guitar is sounding bad, then 100% you're gonna have a bad recording. I guess the only other thing that is more important is you, the player. When I'm recording, I'm constantly changing my strings because even the tiniest little bit of dirt from your fingers changes the sound so much. So make sure you have a good setup and your intonation is set correctly. I definitely recommend you taking your guitar to someone before you start recording because you don't want any kind of problems in the middle of recording. So now I'm gonna show you what a difference it can make using new strings compared to really old and dirty strings. So I'm gonna take my guitar and I'm gonna dirty up my strings as best as I can, and then I'm gonna put new strings on and hopefully we can hear the difference between the two. Pure grease. Try not to get any on the actual guitar. Proper nasty. Number two, the room. Because we're playing finger style, generally we're gonna be a little bit quieter than if we were strumming. So the microphone needs to be a little bit louder. So it's gonna pick up more of the room. So really think about what room you're gonna be recording in and how that room is gonna sound. It's not like it needs to be completely soundproof and completely dead at all. It can have some echo to it, most rooms do, um, but you just need to make sure that it's not harsh sounding and that it's actually a, a pleasant sounding room. So I'll show you a quick example of how it can sound in this room here, which is not professionally treated at all. I just have rugs on the floor and I made these sound boards that I put around the room. And then we'll compare that to another room in my home, which is just like a normal room, and then we can hear the difference. Hey, just a quick pause from the video. Uh, listening back to the recordings, I actually didn't hear too much of a difference, which I was quite surprised at because I recorded it in my kitchen, which I thought would be a completely different sound. But I think it's because I'm using a small diaphragm mic and they're very directional, so they don't pick up as much of the sound as a large diaphragm would. So I think that's the main reason there's not a huge amount of difference um, that I can't tell anyway. But have a listen and let me know what you think and we'll continue with the video. Number three, 
position of the mic. Now, before you set up the mic, I want you to think about how you play and what position is most comfortable for you. Because as we all know, when we do great performances, that's usually when we're the most comfortable. Me, when I'm playing and I'm really relaxed and focused on what I'm doing, I tend to kind of put my head down and play at an angle so I'm kind of pointing this way and then just thinking about that and knowing that I can kind of place the mic in the right position. Now with all this in mind set up your mic around the 12th fret uh, roughly around six to eight inches away is a good starting point. So just start making some recordings and making small adjustments to your position and then just listen back and this is about just using your ears and deciding on what you think sounds best. So for this recording, I'm using a Neumann KM184 small cardioid condenser microphone. You can use any microphone, but I would recommend using a small diaphragm condenser just because they tend to be better at picking up the detail when it comes to finger start guitar. And just in case you're thinking, well, of course your recordings sound good, Fabian, you're using a Neumann. Here's a recording using the mics that come with my little Zoom handy recorder. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to know a bit more about the microphone that I'm using in these recordings, then click on this video here where I talk about it in a bit more detail, and I'll see you over there. Bye.